Hello guys, Skip here and welcome back to the third part of our hardware build, third, the final part, uh, where we do the freight stations with the industrial side, with all those containers, we finish this, um, can I call it entrance exit, yeah, let's call it entrance exit uh, from the uh, freight station and to the harbor and whatnot. For those who uh, already saw the first two parts, uh, I think this was quite of a nice journey uh, within this uh, with this build. Uh, but for those who didn't see the first two parts, I will actually totally advise you to go and watch them because they are probably they're pretty cool, and you guys might find some really uh, interesting and cool inspiration for your harbors, I guess. And I hope <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using these vanilla cargo stations because they are actually quite fine uh, they look pretty pretty cool i'm using the touch this uh, mode the one with the purple and the white arrow as you can see on the bottom of the screen and that one allows you to actually let's say delete or upgrade a road or a train track or a pathway anything that is coming with a specific asset I mean for our in our case we have a freight uh, train station or a freight cargo station and they have already a road and a train track there and imagine you don't want to use those you have to at least I want to like uh, to upgrade them or to delete some of them so in order to do this you need the touch this mode uh, Cool. Those being said, uh, I want to uh, go again and uh, re-highlight or let's say uh, say again that <clears throat> for those who are interested, I have my save game available for my patrons on my Patreon account. You can take the, the, the save game from there and all the uh, settings for the LUT and map theme in order to make your harbor, your city look like uh, mine if you are of course interested um, good I don't have a collection of mods or assets but for those who are downloading the um, save game uh, you guys can find there everything you need uh, in the description of my um, post how to actually subscribe to all assets it's quite easy because the game has uh, implemented a feature that allows you to actually subscribe to everything that was used within a save game um, we didn't have i didn't have time to make create a collection because when i took the map um, for this global build off uh, there was a collection of mods and assets and so on which was not made by me was made by mr miyagi that came with the map quite a lot of them already there i believe around 900 almost 1k assets and in order to add my own assets that I subscribe to because they are around 4k in total uh, I had to create a new collection and add the previous collection from Mr. Meg and so on and trust me that was not the case I had only one week to build my harbor uh, and uh, no time to actually to do my collections cool um, let's let's actually now talk about what uh, you guys are going to see I will upgrade all the train tracks if I'm not mistaken. If I to remember from then, uh, I'm uh, I'm using some really cool cranes. Uh, these uh, fried cranes, I guess they are called. I don't remember. Um, they are absolutely super cool because they actually move. You need a mode as well to make them work and uh, show how they move. And also the super cool thing about them is that you can use the um, prop not prop uh, the uh, color asset color mode and that allows you also to color the the cranes so i did that and uh, all the cranes would be different colors like green gray dark gray black probably ra red and so on uh, and that would be pretty cool because you we will have like a diversity and not only one color uh, of cranes uh, 
cool. Those being said, uh, I'm adding already lots of containers. Uh, for those who are actually, you know what? I'm gonna say something else to ease your job. I usually post at my at all my uh, videos. I post a collection of collections. That's how it is called. It's my big collection that I'm uh, creating it since 2016. And this collection of collections contains lots of collections, like like lots of collections. And uh, all these collections are actually filtered uh, by names and by um, props, assets and mods. For instance, you can find there, and you should go there and check it out, the cargo collection. Where you can find everything that is related to cargo props and assets and uh, you'll find these containers these cranes that are moving uh, everything everything that is related to cargo uh, so that's a place where you can find most of these there is another collection called marina something something that so just search for marina if you use the control f button in your web browser and you'll find in the marina you'll find all the yachts uh, boats ships and everything I've been using also in previous two videos. You can find lots and lots of stuff. There is a warehouse uh, collection where you can find all the warehouses I'm using here. Um, and lots and lots of stuff. Uh, I, I, plus this will kind of actually uh, be very, very, very useful for, for you guys in, all, in your day by day save games uh, because you can actually find what you want and what you need pretty fast there are super cool uh, big cranes that are coming uh, um, that were released long time ago with the very bright colors and if you take the prop coloring mode you will be able to color them uh, and make them look way much better and you because the LUT can also affect the colors of your stuff so uh, probably you should get both coloring uh, modes the one for assets and one for props uh, I'm, I'm using everywhere the industrial roads the vanilla industrial roads because they are actually looking pretty damn cool I am totally totally up for them uh, I think they came with the industrial uh, DLC uh, in order to hide the vanilla um, props that we have here on the cargo station the vanilla containers i'm adding the other uh, i'm adding the other containers uh, on top of them in some cases you might even still uh, look at them and see them but hey uh, it is what it is uh, i can you can even lower higher sorry you can even hire the containers and make them a higher stack of containers if you are interested to actually cover and do stuff my, my time was pretty limited if i remember when i did this part it was like the last part and uh, I barely had like one more day to do the cinematics and to do the last touches for my harbor and it was quite nasty. I was in super damn rush and it's pretty, um, pretty, let's say annoying to know you have a limited time to do all these kind of things. But hey, it is a contest, so we um, that's how it should be, right? Uh, all these uh, tracks that you see here also came uh, with these uh, cranes for cargoes and you can find them in the cargo collection as I was mentioning earlier. I also subscribe to some cool uh, trains and uh, uh, lots of trucks and whatnot but uh, when I was using this um, when I was playing on this map uh, I still had a, ne a little issue with my uh, advanced vehicle options uh, mode that actually allowed some of the vanilla uh, cars to still be on the map and it's pretty annoying uh, I don't know why that's uh, happening and still happening in present day but I can't figure it out uh, yet uh, cool um, I think you're gonna see today lots of mm, Plopping down containers, plopping down little uh, details and whatnot. I will eventually do lots of um, changes to the pavement aspect because I don't like it uh, to be this clean. Uh, after all, we are in a harbor, right? And we have to make it look 
bad, like uh, either dirty or with cracks or damages and whatnot, because uh, that's how it is, right? Uh, and uh, even though I added like crazy amount of props and stuff, uh, the FPS was it is still very, very, very good in the in the on the on the map here. I'm adding lots of. Um, warehouses here. I'm, I'm, I'm coloring them every time I'm doing this. I'm coloring stuff because uh, My LUT is quite bright and I prefer to have them less brighter. Let's not that bright and um, This mode allows you to do everything you want to maybe sometimes you might uh, get uh, or have a an acid that cannot be colored uh, properly or only a, a, a a line or only a, a little side of it can be colored and not entirely well it might be happened as well oh yeah I just okay I just upgraded the, the train track so uh, yeah I was saying earlier that I don't remember if I actually upgraded the, all the tracks but I had it <laughs> it seems I had cool um, at this point I actually don't even know what uh, um, to tell you about uh, everything I'm doing here because I'm trying to do stuff and I'm repeating lots of them, so um, I mean, like I'm, as you can see, I'm adding cranes, I'm adding uh, uh, containers, I'm adding uh, tracks, uh, train tracks, uh, tracks for con for these big uh, cranes and whatnot. So it's it's hard to talk about the same thing over and over again. And uh, the the port, the harbor, it's actually totally totally uh, functioning. It's uh, you. You will see trucks, uh, trucks and uh, uh, ships coming into your harbor, and everything actually it's working properly as it should be, right? The traffic is not that bad, and maybe that's because of few reasons. Like uh, the population is not that big. Um, we have lots of freight, uh, freight uh, trains and coming, uh, leaving trucks as well, and so on. But I don't. Uh, um, m maybe if you guys take the save game and you want to do it your your way and whatnot, maybe you can actually do the traffic be a tiny bit more uh, crazy than what it and than uh, how it is uh, right now. Um, that was not my main purpose in, in uh, this uh, super in this build super. I meant super build because it was a huge one. And uh, that was not my main purpose to make it be super traffic or stuff like this. But uh, hopefully, um, I've managed to achieve uh, what I wanted to, like to make it work uh, properly and to make it pretty, pretty dense and uh, with lots of uh, details all over the places. Um, cool. Um, there is an area here in the harbor where one of the roads are is not parallel with the other roads and also the containers these ones here uh, on top um, someone also mentioned when he saw my screen hey what's going on there why it's, that one is not completely uh, parallel and so on well uh, I it probably this is not going to ever happen in a port or in a harbor but hey it is mine. <laughs> That's what I felt at that specific moment and uh, I went with it. I'm sorry, but I went with it. Uh, I, I found it uh, interesting. Why not? I, I, I hate when I have to make a grid road system. It, nevertheless, doesn't matter if it was a, if it is or was in a, in a harbor or in a city or wherever. I hate perfectly gridded, gri, gri, grid uh, road system and so on. Uh, here I'm adding a little parking, let's call it parking area for uh, some of the cranes, the moving cranes, the ones that uh, takes these uh, cranes, uh, these uh, uh, containers, sorry. And um, uh, this inspiration was coming, was taken from a port uh, near near, near Mar Marseille, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot the name of it. I don't have the uh, Google Earth save uh, saved anymore there, uh, so I don't remember the name of uh, that harbor, but it is from somewhere in real life. It's not totally like this. It's far by being the same, but 
uh, as I mentioned, it was just inspiration that I needed to take from uh, a port, uh, from a harbor from real life. And again, that was uh, from uh, uh, Marseille, near Marseille. Um, so you can find like uh, this amount of containers. Uh, that's what I did. It, uh, even though in real life was were more containers than uh, I just added here. But that's why I went with so many containers at this point because uh, uh, in real life too there were quite a lot of a lot of them, a lot and lot of containers uh, in this in this uh, freight um, station. <coughs> um, good. Uh, I think we will uh, soon jump to the building. There is a building from. Uh, oh no, we are not actually. I was thinking we are. Uh, well, I will. I will say the story about that uh, soon, as soon as we go there. Uh, here I'm adding a park. Can I call it a parking area? Well, a parking area, but a, par a parking with a reason, of course, for these um, for trucks that are taking the um, containers, bringing them, or what actually they need to do into into the cargo area here. And um, it, it, I saw this also there. Uh, in the harbor that I was telling you about in real life and the cool fact uh, the, the cool thing about uh, coloring mud uh, you know what you saw I just color those white lines into yellow lines and what this mud does not only that allows you to do this kind of uh, coloring and so on but guys imagine you don't have to actually subscribe to uh, twice to the same amount of lines or decals or props to have different colors you just need one of them and then you can just ca change the color so those white lines I subscribed only to those because on the workshop there are uh, yellow lines as well so I didn't actually need to subscribe to those unless they were in the same pack of course but, uh, so that's one of the cool things I hope that eventually uh, there will be um, there is the mode called uh, something with networking that allows you to get rid of the uh, the street lamps and uh, to change the uh, either to change them or to get rid of them or to do the same with pillars and whatnot and that mod also allows you to color the roads so if you want to have a road a bit darker than another road you can use that mod uh, which is super damn cool because uh, there was a mod before that uh, allowed you to color all the roads or all the same uh, type of roads and if you wanted to have one which should be a, a tiny bit brighter or a tiny bit darker well it wasn't possible which now it is possible and, and that's super cool and I hope this mode or a, a future mode uh, gives you the opportunity to also color the um, the other type of networkings that that we use defense networks the I don't know barrier networks and so on to allow you allow you allowing you to color the fences if you want that would be really cool a cool feature for a future mode nice uh, this is the building that I was telling you a tiny bit earlier it's a it's called Cor Coruna tower it, it's from Spain and um, this uh, building it's also like it's situated uh, near a road or a road is coming through it I, I forgot about it sorry uh, it's pretty cool and it's in the harbor it, it is like a place where you know like a tower from the airport uh, working like people can watch their how the traffic on the sea is and uh, whatnot and I wanted to plop it down here like there there is an office area at the um, bottom side and on the top uh, people uh, go and watch the traffic on the sea well guys I think uh, we are getting very close to the end of this uh, time-lapse uh, video and uh, we will uh, jump to the cinematics please do watch them because they are cool and you can see uh, stuff a tiny bit better and uh, if you are new here, and if you want to see more uh, videos uh, and more City Skyline series and maybe more other games, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, for those who do, did enjoy this build and uh, 
others probably yeah give a like because it uh, actually does matter and or comments as well and uh, yep that's it guys thank you for watching uh, go on the patreon account and if you are interested to check out the save game and you want to give it a try also I, I'm sharing the save games for my other series with, uh, with the color settings and everything there too but guys till uh, next time take care be safe and I salute you